Hello? Hi, is Seth there? This is Seth. Hello? Hi, uh, yes, I'm looking for Seth. Eric's... This is Seth. Hi, Seth, this is Brandy. I'm calling from Stocks and Storage. Hi. Hello. Um, so I listened to the voicemail. Sorry for all the rambling. <laughs> well, it did get cut off at the, I don't know. If, yeah, that, uh, I, you, that's, I'm assuming you got the second one. That's how you got my number. Oh, oh, okay. I must have, I must have just got the first one. Oh, gotcha. That's okay. Um, I first of all want to uh, apologize for the situation that happened. Um, it sounds like there was just a lot of um, different things that went, you know, like a tumble of yeah. situations. Yeah. Um, and just to be clear, and what's your position with the company? I'm the assistant district manager. Gotcha. And, and, and I'm sorry, your first name again was? Randy. Randy. Okay. Um, you can you just confirm the the people who live upstairs? They're they're empl the the female who lives upstairs is employed by the company as as a live as an overnight caretaker, correct? No, that's one of the things that I was going to clear up for you. Weird. She is no no. She does not work for us anymore. You just letting her live there still? That's up to what we're doing. Yes. But I mean, she she was but she was working for you in July, correct? I mean, I'd hate to think her husband lied on the witness stand when he said that she was an employee. That's a possibility. I don't know the exact. Can case. Can you check for me? I I don't have that information in front of me right okay. now, but. Um, so, but what? So. That is that what you're calling me about? Well, I'm, well, I mean, those are two separate issues. One is that the live-in employee, who was apparently the live-in employee on the 6th of July, when I was robbed and drugged, not in that order, she, I mean, I screamed at the building for help over and over and over and over again, and they hid in the dark, and then admitted to the cops that they heard me. I'm sorry, what? What time of day was this? Uh, two, around 2.30 in the morning. I'm surprised that, um, I, I know you were said you were calling them to call the police. I'm surprised that wasn't the first thing that happened. Well, no, I, I screamed at the building and I threw rocks at the building part. And then I went around to the front and I started throwing rocks at the, the upstairs where I knew they were. And they didn't answer, and then I threw a rock through the downstairs so I could get to a phone because I was drugged. I didn't. I was acting irrationally. Um, but it's weird that she, that you're now saying she doesn't work for you, but that she still lives there. When, I mean, they were intimately involved in my being robbed. They hid in the dark until I committed a felony, and now I could go to jail. Why would she do that? To, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just going to ask you to put yourself in their shoes. Uh -huh. Someone who is obviously not in their right mind at the moment uh -huh. is screaming at 2.30 in the morning. Help the call the police. Female, Help the call the police. No, no, it's that she, she didn't come out for the cops. She hid it. She, I watched the body cam footage. She was the employee at the time, and he was not. But all of the contact I had with him none with her and she hid from the cops only at the very end when the cops were walking away you see her come out to talk to him which is weird because she was the employee at the time and 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 the dogs the dogs work for you basically right that's a perk of them living there that that you have attack dogs that bark anytime they're someone tenant of ours as well. they're not employees they're not they're tenant of ours the, the, so the dog, the, so so the couple doesn't get paid extra. So you have guard dogs on the property. That's just ha you just happen to have a kennel there, and they just happen to keep their dogs in the kennel every day, except for the day I was robbed. That is, they are a tenant, and I can't go into who belongs to what. Okay. Well, uh, jo Joe already told me that that the dogs belong to Luis. But the, the, the problem is, is that Luis told the cops that I was crazy for asking where the dogs were when I was screaming for help because the dogs had been there every night and were there at 1030. 
So the dogs were removed from the premises and the people who lived upstairs were instructed to hide in the dark I, for... I think she was instructed to... They accidentally... Like, I'm sure there was a fear uh -huh. that would make... I mean, and yet he came out. Yeah. And yet he came out when I broke the window. What's that? If it was me, I wouldn't have come out either. Would you have turned on a light? I would have called the cops and let the cops do it. Right, but they didn't. Okay, but that's, I'm just telling you, that's what I would do. It's what anyone would do. But. Randy, I'm, I'm trying to, you're saying that they weren't instructed to accidentally do what, no, I mean, why, if you, if someone's screaming, obviously you may not go outside to greet them, but you would turn on a light and then be trying to call the cops instead of hide. They were actively pretending like they weren't there. And they removed the dogs only that night. And then Luis told the cops, I was crazy for asking where the dogs were. Randy, but they were there every night except for the night I was robbed. Randy? I'm, all right, Seth, I'm, I'm, we're getting outside of the situation. Yeah, because I need to know what you want me to do. I, I, want, my, I want Audrey's ashes back. Because that's part two. Here's what happened with that situation. Yeah. The unit was cleaned out. Uh-huh. And there was no... From what I was told when I called and talked to the managers... Mm -hmm. That obviously they're not going to go through all of the stuff. They were, but if it was something they had seen out... It was sitting on top of the grocery cart right at the door. In plain view. And he knew that it was the ashes, the last of the ashes of my dead soulmate. He knew this before the stuff was removed. Because he told me that your policy was that a, a personal item like that, you would save that for the person. Before dumping everything else in the trash. So from what I was told, they did not see it. Who didn't see it? When they were cleaning up the unit, it was not seen. Any ashes, any urns were not seen. Well, I, I described it. It was a box, a wooden box that says box of MacGuffins written on it in paint, glow-in-the-dark paint, that was sitting in plain view. And Joe, about half an hour ago, told me that, didn't tell me any of that. He told me that he couldn't do anything about it and couldn't tell them. He didn't say that they looked for it and didn't find it. He said, oh, dude, I was out of my hands. They just came in. And then they threw your stuff away, including those asses. Sorry. But it's, it's, your policy is not to throw away someone's asses, right? Policy, once a unit is up for auction, uh -huh. the policy is we sell the items. Unless it's a personal item. And, and then if a unit was to be sold, it is up to the bidder or the buyer to leave any personal items if they choose to. We cannot require, require anyone to leave anything. Why did Joe tell me that the policy, when I first called to try to save her ashes, that the policy was a personal item like that? We we make a note of it, especially we since tried, I... We do try, it's, it, but it's definitely, it's not a policy we are allowed to even try to enforce. Okay, but you understand, you understand if, if, if the living employee had turned on her light when someone was standing outside of her window screaming for her to call the police, I wouldn't have been arrested and I would have been able to pay my rent and I would still be renting from you. So it's not like this all just happened in a vacuum. Your living employee deliberately hid in the dark until I broke the window. And then he called the police. And then, oh no, and then her husband called the police while she hid from the police so she wouldn't have to testify. Weird thing for her to think about ahead of time. Why, well, I better hide from the police because if I give a statement, then I can get called as a witness. But for some reason, not only did she do all that, leading directly to me losing these ashes that no one could see sitting right there in a well-described box. So what is it worth to your company? Make me a settlement offer for destroying Audrey's ashes based on the policy of someone who worked there 
and then the lies of another person who worked there. No, oh, no worries. Make me a financial settlement offer for the destruction of Audrey's ashes based on two employees' behavior. Okay. Um, what are they worth to you? you I can't tell you what they're worth to me, but... I would have to contact the district manager and let him take care of this. I was hoping that maybe it was something I could help out with. Aren't you above the district? Explanations, and I'm, I'm sorry that I can't help you. Okay. So I will definitely pass on our conversation and Perfect. let him know what you are asking for. I mean, it's the least, <laughs> the least you can do, right? It's, it's unfortunately the only thing I can do. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, I mean, we can't get them back. Apparently, they were thrown in a dumpster. And no one could see the box sitting. I mean, they had it. They didn't throw. What's funny is they didn't throw the cart. It was a grocery cart from Ralph's. So they had a. Someone had to walk that cart all the way back to, or load it in their truck or whatever they did. But sitting right on top was the thing I had described, right there. For some reason, they threw it away. I'm I mean, so sorry. Thank you. I, I do feel for the situation. I appreciate that. Like I said, I mean. When I heard the voicemail, I was, I was sad, um, and I am again sorry. Well, well, and I and I appreciate that. that. Situation happened the way that it did. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. And like I said, I will definitely reach out to the district manager. Okay. And let him know of our conversation. And what is his name? His name is Randy. His, you both named Rand. No, my name is Brand. Brandy. I'm sorry, Brand. Brand. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. I got. I'm on an Obama phone and a speaker phone, so I. Uh, okay. Good. Well, I appreciate it, and I will wait to hear hear from him. Yes. You have a good holiday. Okay. You too. Bye bye.